Hi there, it's Tanya from Tati Treasures. So this is part two, um, and this was came with um, my Happy Mail, and I had it on order, uh, a pre-order from from America. So it's the the Tim Holtz brand new ideology, the field note. So I've had the. the bigger pieces and then the snippets and from the looks of it the exactly the same apart from obviously their minutes and and they're a normal size so i shall open the bigger one but um i'm really excited about having the small ones because these are going to be great on clusters and um i was going to do some snippets um and stuff like that and like decorating envelopes and things so really excited about that that can go in my tin with all my bits and bobs so i thought i'd open this on camera and and show you through it because i'm sure there's some people that ha haven't seen it yet i've tried not to look um at anyone's because um <laughs> I wanted I wanted to just see it when when I opened it so I've not been this excited for a long time so I've got some butterflies so that go like that so I think he brought a new botanicals um pieces out and he started to do these, um, you know, like the um, not flying ones, which makes, you know, a change. What I've noticed straight away, these aren't the thick card, like the botanicals, which I do like the thick card ones, but these are going to be a lot better in journals and things because they're, you know, probably... A millimeter, not even a millimeter. No, about half a millimeter. Um, so yeah, these are going to be a lot better actually. Still got a lot of white edges, but they do ink really, really easy. So I've got some oh dragonflies. That's the first, and then some botanicals. Oh, lovely colouring. Let me just check that I'm right in the middle. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, let me. I'll move these. I'll put the butterflies there. Yeah, really muted, nice, nice colours. So I've got some little bugs. Yeah, I'm liking the. The botanicals oh that's a beautiful blue that blue is going to go straight in my tub for for doing the color challenge oh mushrooms fabulous oh they're great yeah there was no mushrooms in the in the botanicals before so that's yeah these are a lot different which is really good so like I say, he did bring out a new botanicals and it was very, very similar to, to the last botanicals. He just changed it up a little bit with different um, different butterflies and, and florals, but it was virtually the same. This is a lot different. Love that colour. Yeah. Wow, and they're 134 pieces. It's the massive sets. When I looked on Amazon, now they available here. I think they're about six pounds something a packet, which I think is really, really reasonable. Oh, these are cute. They're just like as if somebody's just cut them out of out of a book. Love those. Oh, I'm mixing my piles up and I've got a big bug. Yeah, I like those. 
I love how they've been done wonky as well. That's really cool. There's quite a few of those. Just a random bit. I think it's a bit like a specimen. Specimen card. Lots of butterflies and moths. I think with there being so many pieces as well, um, you're not going to want to hoard them quite as much. So I think in the other packs, I think they used to be about 60. Um, you used to seem to use them up really quick. So there's still some that I've got hoarded. Some stamps. Oh, they're really good. They look very real. A little bit hard to pick up because they are, are so thin. More butterflies. These look very vintage colours, what is used. A specimen. Oh, I can't wait to start using these. Moth, another cutter. Another cutter. Beetle. Oh, look how vibrant that is. Oh, and they've not got the white edges. It's a bit really good if we did them all with the darker edges. Perhaps just trying it out to see see what people people say they do seem to um listen to to the people and change it around and stuff like that national history and scientific books that are fabulous and some little little bits some cool labels Yeah. yeah, it's going to be nice having all these in, in a really tiny size as well. And I think when I looked on Amazon, they're both like the same, same price. Oh, and what's great is you obviously haven't got to cut all these these out. So I mean that's that's worth it price wise. Some cool red ones. Yeah, I like that label. It's very nice. And some thin ones. Some mushrooms. Looks like we're gonna get on to some, some bigger pieces at the at the back. I'm guessing that one's ripped off something. I'll have to see if I can find find the bottom. Unless it lives on one aha, it lives on there. I shall attach that that back on. Right, it looks as if these are some bigger pieces. We've got field note labels. Like how some of them are blank and, and some plain. It's really cool. Let's have a look at these. I'll just get all the smaller things out. Another type of beetle. Right, that's all. I shall save my packaging to do something something with that. So we've got some like moth specimens. Oh, 
that's very nice it's really nice color in that one some books lots of labels mazes I like that shells little library card and the alphabet these are very nice Look at the mushroom one, it's fantastic. Oh, so actually all the flowers have, have come out of this, I would say. They look very similar to, to what's there. That's lovely. Oh, look at that. That's a beauty. I'm sure I've seen that, that book. That's beautiful. I might have to use that and make it into a tiny little ball. That's really fabulous. But yeah, I'm guessing this is, is exactly the same. From what I can see on the top and that, it looks all, all the same. I think I'm going to have to keep this all in a tin because um, the pieces are very, very tiny. But uh, yeah, fabulous for doing clusters and ruffles and things. Yeah, fab. So that is them. And then I didn't put this in the in the actual whole video. So thank you, Roxanne, for for um ordering these for me and and sending them to me. Thank you very much. So you're gonna see them in look at this massive pile. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really, really great value. And I think, because um, these was ordered from America, um, they was a little bit cheaper. But um, like I say, they were £6 something on, on Amazon. So, um, absolute bargain. So Roxanne also sent me this fabulous tin. Love a good tin. And there's these pieces in here. And I'm not sure where where these are, are from because they look like there's some kind of pun chance I don't unless um unless you've got fantastic um scissor skills Roxanne so these are very cute so yeah you'll have to let me know where these where these are from yeah so again these will be fabulous for for clusters and envelopes and things Oh, I love these. They feel really nice as well. They, they're dead soft. It's cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, that will be going in my um, in my bee themed. and that is something that she's just cut out but yeah I think these are some kind of punch punch outs yeah I'm definitely all stocked up need to get making so I've still not got onto my um, <coughs> unfinished projects yet I'm nearly there I'm nearly there just been making um, different envelopes for for the shop. Um, what else have I been doing? I had a custom custom order, some notebooks. So I've done those, and then like I say, I've been <coughs> doing a bit of coffee staining, well tea staining here and there. Been trying to do about. 40 50 things a day but um i'd run out of everything i've got no envelopes no postcards no papers so i've done some rolodex cards and index cards so 
so yeah i'm working my way through a pile i've just had a sort out this morning and um found some materials and things that one wants staining so they've gone in me my bag but yeah since i started it the weather's not been great so i'm having to dry it inside and um Oh, another nest on the bed. Um, yeah, and I really don't want it everywhere, so that's another reason why I'm only doing doing a bit at a time. That's nice. Yeah, these are going to come in very handy. I'll have to sort through and take the butterfly ones out because when I have done the bees, I'm going to go on and do do all butterfly things so yeah you'll have to let me know where these are from Roxanne there we go so I might actually end up keeping my little snippets in this tin and then putting these a bit somewhere else so thank you very much oh I'll just quickly show you that the envelopes what what I've been making actually um, I've still got some music paper ones to do and I've still got um, some Edith Holden ones to do to restock on them. So I've done these packs, they're going to be linens and laces. So you get two vellum linen ones and then two lace ones. So they're pastels, but they are mixed ones. I think I've done four sets, four sets of four. They're not all exactly the same, but they, you know, very, very similar. So that's those ones. I've done some botanical ones with the um, concise book of, of flora. So these again are, are just mixed, mixed packs. I think I've done four four sets of, of everything and then I've done some piano roll ones so I've done like two black and two it's like a, a beigey beigey gold I've not inked them up or anything I've just left them like that because some people you know don't want them inked so that's what I've done so far um yeah so i'm hoping to get some more envelopes finished off today so i can move on to to my unfinished projects so that is me um i think the next videos that will be going up is the next one in amy's at crafty cats color challenge so that's aqua and I'm going to be doing another video on using the piano paper. I think I've just got some tags and journal cards to collage. So they will be the next two videos out. So I hope you enjoyed having a look through my loveliness. Um, and like I say, you're going to see these in in lots of upcoming projects so thanks for spending some time with me i shall leave all the links down below thanks a lot bye